Peace. Assalamu alaikum. I'm uh, continuing the training on the book, Get Out of Your Own Damn Way, that Shauna sent me. Uh, we're on rule number three. Conversations. Less is more. That's rule number three. Okay, the way she explained it, it's like dating. When you go on a date for the first time, you don't want to show too much skin. Otherwise, people think you're easy or you're what she calls a prospecting slut. So you don't want to give out all the information about the product, every item and every little inkling. You know, leave something for the second date. So just give them enough information for them to make up their mind whether they want more information. So you can set up an appointment, you know, for a follow-up. And you just won't overwhelm them. You just, you know, have to ask yourself, am I talking too much? And I know I'm guilty of that sometimes. I just, you know, kind of go on and on and on. So I'm going to have to, to work on that. <coughs> so, um, you know, just, you just share enough information so they can want to take a closer look. And uh, you can set up an appointment to talk to them later. Uh, about uh, the business opportunity or about having a party, you know, if you feel like, you know, it's warranted. Rule number four, be authentic. So you can't be me. You can't be, I can't be Shauna. Uh, Shauna can't be, you know, somebody else. So we all have to be ourselves, And that's the best way to um, appeal to people. Because your power is in being authentic. Because people uh, are drawn to who they know, like, and trust. So if you are uh, authentic, you don't have to uh, make up anything. You can just be yourself and be honest about the products and honest about uh, the business opportunity. Just be authentic. And you're basically helping them feel a need. You know, you're talking to a, a, another human being that has fragrance, may have fragrance needs. They might uh, have a dog. They want to cover up the smell from the dog. Or they um, smoke and they want to get rid of the cigarette smoke smell or whatever. So you just find out, well, what, what, are, what are you trying to do? What kind of fragrance products are you interested in? And so you're helping them uh, fill a need. And so it's the same thing with the business opportunity. You're helping them fill a need with that. Maybe they need more money for uh, to help pay bills. Or maybe they need more money to pay for uh, their college, for their children, or for a savings account they're trying to do. You know, So you find out what their need is and uh, see how Sensi can help fill that need. Um, and use as many pro products as possible so you can be confident in uh, the information that you're sharing about the products. If you um, use uh, the bars and the, the warmers more, then you're going to be more comfortable talking about those. But uh, you should have tried the counter clean. You should have tried the, the laundry products. So at least you can tell some kind of experience about the product if somebody asks you, okay, or talk to uh, one of your upline people and ask them, okay, well, you know, how does that work, or, you know, so at least you can explain, you know, how the products work if somebody asks you. Okay, so, um, rule number five, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person, so don't worry about being perfect. Sometimes words don't come out exactly like we, we want them to do. We want them to. So I, she talks about hiding behind text messages and messenger and uh, Facebook messages and emails and all that and just leaving voicemails for people. She, pick up the phone and talk to people. That is the best way to communicate. Just pick up the phone and talk to them. And um, I'm, 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 I'm bad with that. I, I have to admit, I haven't done that. So 
I'm going to start calling my customers back that I have had over the few last few months and ask them, how did your products work out for you? How did those bars work out? How did the room spray work out? You know, what did you like about it the most? Or you know, which one was your favorite? And, you know, did you need to order anything else? Or do you think you'd like to have a party? Whatever I decide to say. And um, not worry about being perfect because perfection does not exist. And this part here, I'm just going to read it because I thought it was really good and I don't want to mess it up. It says, trying to be perfect causes the problems, <clears throat> causes the problems. You can't get better if you don't talk to people. But you're afraid to talk to people because you're not good enough. You will miss out on offering the opportunity uh, to people to be a customer or to be a new team member. And, uh, you know, just because you didn't speak up. You're afraid to speak up. And so those people end up going to somebody else because you, you didn't speak up. So, rule number six, you will find yourself, if you find yourself convincing, stop. If you try to convince somebody to do something, trying to convince them to buy it, the product, trying to convince them to join, just stop. Just stop. Either they're not interested at all, or they're not interested now. Sometimes it's not the right time. Maybe they don't have the money right now. Maybe they um, are busy in their life too much right now to join Cincy, and so it's not the right time. So don't try to pressure people into doing something that they haven't decided to do on their own. If they don't decide to do it on the, for themselves, it's not going to work out. It's just not going to work out. I've had people that I've kind of prod them and coach them and yeah you need to do this yeah you really need to do this and it didn't work out because their heart really wasn't in it they they really um they really every time it was time to put an order in they had to call me to for me to help them put the order in they never did really get the workstation down because they didn't really they what that wasn't their focus and so it was more work for me really because they weren't independent they really weren't working their business independent they needed to, to, to lean on me to really do anything. So you want a person to want it for themselves. So don't don't try to convince somebody to do something they don't want to do. Whether it's having a party, whether it's buying a product, or whether it's joining. Because if they really want to do it and they're ready to do it, they will do it. Rule number seven, listen. Really listen. It's important to talk to people uh, with the correct posture and tone and tell a compelling story, okay? Um, it's important to listen and learn what their needs are uh, going to be as a customer or as a new, new team member, okay? That's how you learn. You listen. And everybody's going to be at their own pace. Some people are going to just run with this right out the box. And some are going to come out the box a little slower, you know, but you have to let people go at their pace. You can't, um, you know, force it. In other words, you can't force it. <clears throat> it, it, needs to, it needs to be natural. Um, and you need to show them how Sensi is going to benefit them, how it's going to help them, not how... You know, them joining is going to benefit you, but how sense is going to help them and benefit their life and bless their life. Rule number eight. Wow, this is really going. It's going good tonight. Rule number eight. Uh, work from appointment to appointment. Now, I need to work on this. I, I definitely need to work on this because I will talk to people and uh, I have a, I'm having a hard time getting to the next date. Okay, for whatever reason. And so I'm going to work on that. And uh, what she's saying is when you originally talk to them, you set up an appointment time to get back with them, you know, in the evening the next day or in, at noon time the next day and discuss 
whatever it was, whether it was a party or whether it was joining or whatever it was. And, you know, just make the uh, conversation, you know, relevant, you know, short and sweet. Don't drag it all out and everything. And, um, you know, just make it a, an appointment that was, you know, worth, worth your watch. Number nine, don't count your chickens, okay? Don't count people until they actually sign. Because, you know, you, you, people will tell you that they're going to do whatever, and sometimes it falls through. So if you are kind of, distracted and worrying about, oh, this person was supposed to do this and they didn't do that and they were supposed to call me, you know, you, you know, if they don't call you back, they weren't really interested. They weren't ready. They didn't have the money or they changed their mind or whatever the situation is, but, you know, keep it moving. Next. You know, just keep it moving. Stay focused. Because um, uh, it will slow you down. Worrying about coulda, woulda, shoulda. It'll slow you down. You check my time. So, of course, I didn't stop. I stopped watch. So, I don't know. Okay, I'm at 11 minutes. So, uh, rule number 10. Lead with the business and default to the products. So, if someone comes up to you uh, at an event and they say, oh my goodness, um, the, the products are wonderful, they're just beautiful, and um, you you must really do well, you know, with Scentsy. You know, you just kind of you know, listen for the what they're saying. And and so, you know, then you say, oh yeah, well, the products really do sell well, and I'm, we're looking for new team members all the time. Do you know anyone who would... Maybe be interested in uh, this business opportunity. And then you let them say, oh, well, I think I would. And then you go from there. A lot of times if you just come out and ask them, it's a little forward. But if you say, you know, do you know of anybody that might be interested? They'll just volunteer and say, yeah, I think I would be, might be interested. You know, and then you just tell them, okay, well, this is, you know, what it's about. And let me give you some information. And, you know, can I get your information? So... Um, that way, you know, you're not, when somebody comes up and says, oh, the, the uh, all the products, they look so wonderful. And you say, oh, yes, well, bars are $6 and um, this is that. And, and then they say, oh, well, um, maybe I think I might want to sell, you know, but you you talking to them about buying a bar, you know, <laughs> so you have to kind of listen for what, uh, what, you, what they might uh, be interested in. <clears throat> when you when you are uh, calling people back, you know, don't leave rambling voicemails. Okay? So just basically say, you know, um, you know, sorry I missed you. I'd love to pick your brain about something. I'm available to chat tonight at whatever time or tomorrow morning at whatever time give me a call if I don't hear from you I'll call you and so that that way they know that you're going to call them back if uh, you don't you don't hear from them you're going to call them back so then I'm I'm going to stop here because we almost at 15 minutes so I'm going to try to do these trainings at least once a week a video about uh, this book until I'm done with it. So you guys have a great evening and thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comment in the box and I'll try to answer the questions for you. Peace. How's I'm like